Hey guys, welcome back. Neil Lockhart, Neil Lockhart Photography here. And uh, in today's video, I want to kind of walk you through some of my editing workflow. Um, I'm going to break this video into two parts. This first section is going to cover some of the prep work and some of the things that I do to all my images um, before I really dive deeper into them in Photoshop. So in part two, we're going to um, we're going to go a little deeper, like I said, and we're going to do some light redistribution, some sky replacement, some masking techniques, and really make the image pop. Um, but to get started, um, I use Adobe Bridge, Adobe Camera Raw, and Adobe Photoshop. So right now we're in Bridge. Uh, this is a series of images that I took at the uh, Tunnel Camp, which is an old mining camp in Pershing County, Nevada. And today I'm going to work on this image here. So I'm going to click this and just view it full screen. And I just want to make sure before I start editing any images that this is nice and sharp. So I always view my images at 100%. Uh, one to one just to kind of make sure that yeah, we're in focus this truck is really the star of the show and uh, It looks good. So we are ready to go uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and double click this and That will launch Adobe camera raw and if you use Lightroom I think you're gonna look at these controls and they're gonna be very familiar to you um, Very similar tools. I just happen to use Adobe camera raw So looking at this image, I think it would really work better as a panoramic crop um, I like 4x2, so I'm going to go up to my crop tool, and because I've used 4x2 recently, it's right here in the list, um, but if it wasn't, you can come down here to custom, and you can input any numbers you want to give you any ratio that you'd like. So I'm going to stick with 4x2, I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to go ahead and just drag my crop out, and you can see it's constraining it to a 4x2 aspect. Um, one thing looking at this image, when I'm looking right here, it looks like this building is just slightly uh, tilted. Um, this one too. So I'm just going to grab my corner here. And when you do that, you get the guidelines. And I'm just looking at those edges of the building and just making sure that those guidelines are nice and straight with the edge of the building. Just to level it out just a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to bring this edge in here just a little bit. And I'm going to pull this down just a little. And that puts the truck nicely in the rule of thirds. Um, speaking of trucks, it looks like some photographer parked their car right here. I'm not sure what's up with that, but we'll go ahead and remove that. Uh, we'll clone that out in part two of this video. So that feels good. I like that. I'm going to double click, and that's going to give me my new crop. Um, I'm going to go back in here real quick. This building still seems a little wonky to me, just a little bit more. Okay, um, so the first thing that I like to do is I go over to my lens corrections and I want to turn on enable profile corrections. And what that does is it just compensates for your lens's uh, distortion. If you have any barrel or pin cushion distortion, you turn this off and on, you can kind of see it looks like it's just flattening it out just a little bit. Uh, the next thing you want to do is remove your chromatic aberrations and uh, what that is, I'm not really seeing any here, but if I zoom in super close, Okay, so here's a good example. You can see on these uh, hard contrasting edges here, we've got a little bit of green there and a little bit of red there. So watch, when I turn on uh, Remove Chromatic Aberrations, it just takes care of that. You see how the green and the red disappeared. I'll turn it off again, and I'll turn it back on. So some lenses are, um, are worse than others. Um, it also depends on you know what you're shooting and, and what the light is and all that, but it's just always a good idea to uh, enable these two checkboxes. So going back to our main adjustments here, um, the next thing I like to do is just add uh, a little bit of clarity, vibrance, and saturation. And I kind of have numbers in my head that I, I start off with. So clarity I usually put up to around 20. Vibrance to 40 and then I always half that for saturation. So if I'm using 40 I'm going to use 20 here and wow that is like screaming off the screen. That's crazy um, <laughs> We're gonna have to tweak that but the other thing here that we're dealing with is is very early morning light The Sun has just come up. So it is really golden um, And yeah, that's how it was but it really looks unnatural here so what I'm gonna do is just take my color temperature down just to combat some of that gold, just a little bit. So I'm just kind of moving that down. And you'll notice how that's changing the sky too. And that's an issue that we can address, but I actually am going to replace that sky, so I'm not overly concerned about what it's doing to the sky. I'm just looking at the truck and the buildings. Somewhere right in there feels good. 
Um, the image still feels a little bit green to me, so I'm going to go ahead and add some magenta. And I'm just kind of boosting that up to where it feels a little better. Maybe somewhere there, right around 10. Now, if we look at my histogram up here, I'm not blowing anything out on the highlight side. Uh, there's a little blue spike here on the, uh, um, on the dark side of the histogram. And that's probably the blacks in here. I can turn on this little warning. And you can see little pieces of blue here and there, which is indicating what I'm losing. I'm not too concerned about that, but we can fix that. Uh, it looks like I've got a little bit of room here on the highlight side, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to boost my highlights a little bit and boost my whites. Now you'll see as I do that, you'll see that clipping warning up here, how it just turned red. So now I know that I'm, I'm blowing out some highlights. So I want to just back these guys down a little bit. Maybe I'll play with the exposure just a bit, just to, just to kind of fill that gap. Um, and then I'm going to turn on this uh, highlight clipping warning here just to see what I'm what I'm blowing out and you can see highlighted in red here these areas um, So anything any changes that I make here are globally affecting the entire image if I want to just take take care of these guys I can just go up to my adjustment brush and I can just take down the highlights and then I can just paint over these areas and kind of just combat those guys right there. Still a little hot. I'm going to just take down the exposure just a tiny bit. So there's still a little bit of clipping, but that's not that's not too bad. And we've lost our uh, clip warning up there, so I'm good with that. So let's go back over to the uh, to the main adjustments here, and let's deal with this um, this black clipping issue. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. A little bit on the truck right here just to kind of take a look at this interior and it looks like we can lift the shadows in here that's it's pretty dark so I'm just gonna bring my shadows up just a bit and I'm also gonna bring the blacks up and you'll notice that now we've lost that clip warning so that looks pretty good good right there I we're not really introducing a lot of times when you bring up your blacks or your shadows you run the risk of introducing noise but if you look at that it still looks nice and clean this was only shot at ISO 200 so I'd be surprised if there was any noise in there um, I'm gonna bring the exposure down just a tiny bit okay that's looking pretty good um, that's basically the uh, the only things that I really adjust right out of the gate um, and uh, like I said, this is going to be a two-part video. So in the next section of the video, I want to really bring the, uh, the focus on the truck. Right now, when you look at this image as a whole, I mean, there's lots to look at, but nothing really jumps out as the focal point of the image. So I mentioned doing some light redistribution. And, and what I mean by that is, is darkening of the background and brightening of the subject. Uh, we can do that with some techniques and some masking. Um, I'm also going to replace this sky because it's just a little bland and then we'll go ahead and clone this truck out and uh, We're also going to do some dodging and burning and we're just really going to make this image pop um, So look forward to that in part two I appreciate you guys watching the video and if you liked it, please leave me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel It really helps me out and uh, we'll see you guys soon. All right. Bye. Bye